on ABC. Welcome back, everybody. Well, May is National Stroke Awareness Month, and our next guest knows all about that. Back on January 7th, 2016, at just the age of 42, the unexpected happened. My name is Tony Tompkins, and I had a stroke. My husband was getting ready for work. He had left out the room. I got up to go to the washroom, and I fell. And luckily, he had came back in the room because he had forgotten something. Well, I walked in. I see her on the floor. She was struggling to get up. She kept, you know, floundering around on the floor. And I'm like, Tony, what's wrong? Get up. And at that point, he had realized something was wrong. So I proceeded to knock on my son's door. I said, call 911. I think your mom is having a stroke. The ambulance, uh, the fire department, and the EMTs came upstairs. And they were saying that they wanted to put some medicine in the IV that they had started before they left my apartment. It was called a TPA, which was a, it's a clot buster is what it is. The nurses were talking to my son as to what they were trying to do, and my son ended up calling my husband, and all I heard was my husband saying, is this, if this is gonna save her life, then do it. When she was in the hospital, I was actually really nervous. I didn't think she, I didn't think she was gonna come out the same. And at that point, I realized how bad of a position I was actually in. They prepped me for surgery, um, they went in and, and removed the clots out of my head. And when I came back to out of surgery, I was in the room. One thing that they kept repeating, which I find to be very important, is that the time that it took for them to call the ambulance to get me to the hospital made the big difference. If we were at home, then we probably, she probably wouldn't be here. That was one of the most scariest things that I've ever experienced, and I never thought it would happen to me. When I found out she was okay, it was a relief. I made a very quick recovery. It felt like nothing ever actually even happened. That was one of my very big pushes to make sure that I got better. At that time, my granddaughter hadn't made it into the world yet. Just enjoying her now, you know, enjoying my grandson now, it, it makes the biggest difference in the world for me. Please welcome Tony Tompkins and the medical director of Edward Hospital's ER in Naperville, Dr. Schubel. Thank you. Tony, I gotta say, it is great to see you literally. I mean, the fact that you're here, do you ever think about what if your husband hadn't come back that day? Absolutely, I think about it every day. I'm blessed. Yeah, and you're doing great now? Yes. Your husband's here in the audience as well. And Dr. Schubel, we heard in the piece the term TPA. Yes. And that was essentially a lifesaver. Right, so there, there's, uh, all of our treatments for strokes are time sensitive, and, and TPA is probably the most common one we use. It's basically just what she said it was, is a clot buster, it helps dissolve the clot to help to restore the blood flow. Right, and then you actually have to go in though and remove the clot? Right, some of the n more exciting stuff that's new in medicine is the stroke interventionalists that go in after this and try to take the clot all the way out. We're looking for results like we got with Tony, but we don't always get such great results. Right, we wanna talk about signs and symptoms. Sure. People watching this program. Uh, Tony, what were your signs? Actually, I had a headache the day before, and it was a really bad headache, one I never experienced before. It was very, 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 very heavy. Right, and you, you thought maybe it was a migraine, or? I had no idea really why, because I never really had a headache that bad. It felt like someone had took mallets and gone across my temples. That's wow. how bad it was. Is this typical, Doc? Um, we do see headaches with strokes. There's two types of strokes. Um, the kind she has, we'll see usually more mild headaches than she had, uh, but we, headache it can be a sign. Right, what are some of the other signs? Uh, some of the stuff that she has, speech problems is very common, uh, facial droop, usually trouble walking is one of the ones that'll clue people in, uh, weakness one arm or the other. Right. Those it, are the things we if see. you uh, come across somebody who is having a stroke and they're having some of those signs, what's the first thing you do? Basically, the first thing you should do is get them to the hospital, so 911. So one of Tony's reasons she had such a great outcome is that she came in very early. And we're at all these treatments that we have are all very time sensitive. So the quicker you come, the better your outcomes will be. Right. And there are different types of strokes, right? There are, yep. And so was Tony's typical? She has the most common, it's about 85% of what we call ischemic strokes, which is a blocked blood vessel, is what she had. And the goal there is to get the blood vessel unblocked. The other 15% are what we call hemorrhagic or strokes that bleed. Mm. And Tony, why was this important for you to share your story? Because if I could save someone's life, I'm here. I'm, I'm willing to do that. Because this is something that a lot of people don't know about. 
Absolutely. Well, we are happy that you are healthy yes. and enjoy being a grandma. Absolutely. All right. Uh, for more information, uh, visit Edward Elmhurst website at eehealth.org. Thank you, guys.